Hi there, this is uh, Dr. John from the Florida Center for Hormones and Wellness. And I wanted to talk to you a little bit today about a condition that comes up sometimes in men that are on testosterone therapy. Uh, in these instances, these men will develop an increase of their blood cells or their red cells in their circulation. And uh, to some doctors who are unaware of this, uh, it will cause them some concern. In these instances, uh, the men react to the testosterone by raising blood counts that are called their hemoglobin and their hematocrit. The technical term for this is physiological erythrocytosis, and it is an entirely benign, actually very healthy uh, circumstance that arises when men take testosterone. The problem is, is that everyday doctors who don't really understand testosterone and its effects on the human body will, uh, will confuse it with a condition called polycythemia vera, which is a very dangerous, very deadly uh, type of a blood cancer, okay? And in that instance, it will raise uh, the hemoglobin and hematocrit, but will also raise certain elements of the blood that actually cause the problems for polycythemia. That is, the platelet count goes very high, the white cell count goes very high, and because the platelets go up very high, it causes the blood to become very sticky. And in this instance, uh, the blood can coagulate or form clots, and men can have strokes and blood clots and things, and that's related to the pathology in this type of a blood cancer. However, when it is monitored by everyday doctors, they monitor the hemoglobin and hematocrit, and that's what determines whether or not they need to be treated for this problem called polycythemia vera. The issue is, is that when men get testosterone, you're not causing them to have a blood cancer. It is a very healthy circumstance to have your testosterone raised and to have the physiological benefits that occur after that. What do I mean by that? When men get testosterone, their physiology improves. That is, they get more muscle mass, okay? Their physiology and their metabolism improves. That means that they burn more sugar, they burn more calories, they burn energy at a more effective rate. And when you have more muscle mass and when your physiology improves, you need more oxygen in order to do those things. So how do you get more oxygen? Well, you either beat your heart faster and push more blood by that's carrying the oxygen, but the, also the problem is is that as the heart gets healthy with testosterone, it actually beats a little bit more slowly. So therefore, the blood volume will tend to slow down. And in that instance, the only way that the body can make up for it is to create more hemoglobin and hematocrit to carry more oxygen to meet the body's increased metabolic demands. And it's a very healthy circumstance. It's one that we want. Why do we want it? How do I know that we want it? Well, ask yourself, where is the training facility for the U.S. Olympics? It's in Colorado Springs, Colorado. And why is it in Colorado Springs, Colorado? Because it is at altitude. And what happens to the blood volume when we go up to altitude? It increases. That is, the hemoglobin and hematocrit increase because we have more oxygen carrying capacity to provide the metabolic needs of a high-performance athlete. So it's a very, very good thing that we try to achieve by elevating the altitude and by improving the men and women's physiology at altitude. So you can think of the increase of the hemoglobin and hematocrit in a man or a woman who is on testosterone as being a normal, physiological, healthy response to the testosterone in order to respond to the metabolic needs of a particular individual. So whenever I see this, I take the time to explain this to my patients, and I'm always happy to explain this uh, to people uh, and, and their doctors. Because when you really look at the literature, there is not one well-written article that suggests or shows that in any way that the use of testosterone can be harmful beyond some of the minor aggravations that come along with it, like uh, some of the minor things that we see for men and women uh, that are non-life-threatening, non-dangerous uh, issues that are minor side effects. So this is Dr. John for the Florida Center for Hormones and Wellness discussing why the use of testosterone and the resultant elevation of hemoglobin and hematocrit may not be and in fact is not a problem that we need to be concerned about.